effect that he has on me when we play together. It's like uh, some kind of magic thing going on with him. Estou perdido, caído. He sets up a atmosphere where I feel like I can just jump off this cliff and, and he's going to be right there. Tu lo sabes, eu não vivo sem tu. I'm totally in love with his music, you know, it's a sound and uh, it's a rich experience for me to play with you. Tengo prisa, necessito. Max Cantillo's inspiration came for me from many places. This is a mix of my youth in Brazil, because I listened to the radio, the boleros, sung in Spanish. And when I moved to New York, it's like, oh my God, just walking the street, hey, amigo, como esta, como vai, blah, 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 they speak Spanish. And then it's a reminder me, you know, the time was in young in Brazil, and then inspired me to do the songs. Tu presença infinita Declaration is like the guy wrote a letter to the girl. We talk about now he lives in a big city, but he can't, you know, uh, live without her, but she not believe. And then the guy wrote a letter and sent to her. This is my declaration. Una carta de amor. For this album, the idea was that it would be a real 50-50 collaboration, you know, but once we start playing, the lines and the definitions get really blurred. When I play with Bill, specifically with Bill, you know, I just try and play like on the minimalist things. You know, and give to him some space, you know, and then the music like comes and fill up everything there. You know? His hands and he flies and the guitar. Is it easy for me to play with him? I'm just reacting to the sound of the thing, you know, which is pretty much. What I do with my life is I'm just in the music. I guess in the late 90s, we first met and started to play, and then since then, there's been all sorts of different circumstances we've been together in, and I think way back. There was a seed for this idea, so in that way, you could say it's a culmination of of all these things we've done in the past. But it also feels like sort of a beginning. Since the first time I met him in the studio, like years ago, I learned many things from him. You know. I played on a couple of his albums, and then a couple of years after that, we, we did a couple of duet concerts, and it always just felt like, wow, we gotta talk about doing it more. And then somewhere along the line, it, it got more specific about the concept for this thing. He had, he had some specific melodies and songs that he thought we could do together. Lagrimas Mishkanas, I think, reflects on all this kind of music we we did for all these years together, you know. This is maybe the most sort of intimate thing we've done together. This album is talking more about love and hope. The Latinos, I think they come here to, to try and have a better life, for personally, for, for Dan and from the family. They come here, you know, we tend to love and hope. This is what I'm talking about. És amor, és uma paixão. Quem?
queima meu peito Eu não posso dormir Now I'm living in Brooklyn, and my station, train subway station, is 7th Avenue, Caesete, you know. And then sometimes I walk from my house to there, you know, to take a train to come to Manhattan, you know. And and then I can see, you know, what's happening. Different, you know, young Latinos, old Latinos, beautiful girls, Latinos girls. And then I think about this song. Quédate comigo toda la noche. In Caesete, this is the, the boy talk to the girl, you know, uh, you don't have to leave, specific tonight, you have to be here. And tell me the truth, you would just make it feel a pain. Just tell me the truth, if you love me or not. Habla me de amor, dime la verdad, anche cause dolor. played with musicians from all over the world and you know I play with someone from Japan or I play with someone from Africa or Brazil and for me what's incredible about music is when you're in the music you're not thinking about that and you know we learn from each other in this way and it's more about finding what's what's in common rather than what's trying to figure out why we're different. My guitar you know is this mixed with hand guitars and the sound is beautiful. He is kind of magic. I think it goes back and forth. I mean, wherever I'm coming from, he seems to feel that too. So.